bitwise or operator or operator is given with symbol like this this is the symbol which we are going to use for or operator so what happens in the or operator 0 or 0 0 0 or 1 1 1 or 0 1 1 or 1 1 so at least 1 1 is there then your or operator is going to provide you output 1 0 0 no ones that's why it is 0 0 1 at least 1 1 so 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 now try to understand with a real life example r is equal to a or b a means 0 1 0 1 b means 0 0 1 1 1 or 1 1 0 or 1 1 1 or 0 1 0 or 0 0 so what's the value of this 7 binary number this binary number whenever you convert it to decimal this is 7 so the r value contains 7 5 or 3 you are going to get 7 now coming to the XOR operator XOR the cap symbol you are going to use for XOR operation in a bitwise XOR operation so understand the truth table 0 XOR 0 0 if both the symbols are same XOR is going to provide you 0 0 or XOR 1 if both the symbols are different see 1 is 0 1 is 1 so you are going to get 1 1 x or 0 1 both the symbols are same 1 1 you are going to get 0 that is what xor operation means if both the symbols are same you will get 0 otherwise 1 now try to understand 0 1 0 1 a x or b 0 0 1 1 1 x or 1 you are going to get 0 0 x or 1 1 1 x or 0 1 0 x or 0 0 this is how XOR operation is going to work.